Hello YouTube, thank you for choosing Thingsboard IoT platform. Hopefully this video tutorial will help you to reach your goals. At least from this video you will find out how to configure a trip animation map widget. If you want to know more about Thingsboard configuration, subscribe to this channel. In this tutorial we'll use live demo environment cloud.thingsboard.io. However, you may use the Community Edition environment deployed locally or in a cloud or on-premises ThingsBoard Professional Edition. For the purpose of this tutorial we have one device type, Tracker. We'll call it Tracker 1. Imagine our device is installed in the bus on the road. I use Device Emulator. It's available by the link in the description. The device sends latitude and longitude as a telemetry. Also, your device can report anything else like speed, acceleration, battery level, etc. At the same time, we have a coordinates device. And this is used in order to visualize a polygon which basically represents the typical road of our hypothetical bus. Now I move to a dashboard groups. I already have my demo dashboard group and one dashboard for this tutorial. We need to add a widget. From the proposed list select the Trip Animation Map widget. Specify data source. I will use dashboard time window with minor settings as follows. History tab last one minute. You can define any time period for rendering the trip. Use advanced options for history and specify the maximum amount of data points which might be used for visualizing. We do use known option for an aggregation function in order to achieve path visualization. Done. Now we can see our bus on the map. When we have configured all the parameters for the trip animation, we may play the trip animation as is or with certain acceleration. You can press play in order to get a movement of our bus. We can speed up visualization by pressing on acceleration tab. There are options of acceleration up to 1, 5, 10 and 25 times. It might be useful if you want to track your assets movement within large time period. Now let's enter to the edit mode by clicking edit widget icon. Settings tab contains basic configuration of appearance design of the widget itself, not what and how it renders. It's covered in a separate video. The Advanced tab. Here you can configure what exactly and how our trip animation map widget should display the data and what optional features you want to provide from this widget. Interactive tooltips, specific markers and many more interesting. Normalization Data step. This parameter defines step of rendering of our marker on a path while playback. Latitude key name and longitude key name. For example, you can have your latitude data name in a device core code, or you just may receive data from a device with a different key names that required from Thingsboard, longitude and latitude. If it's so, 
and incoming payload contains, for example, data1 key instead of longitude, you may just change the label of your data key in data source, so Thinsboard will use data1 as a longitude then. Same logic applies to the polygon key name. All details regarding this functionality we have disclosed in the Math Widget Configuration Guide. You may find it in our YouTube channel. Let's add a bit flavor to our tooltip. To call a tooltip by default you must click on a marker. For example, I want to display speed and current status of my bus on that tooltip. Here you can see the tooltip, which displays speed and status of our bus. You may also play with a path rendering. It may be for example a solid line, it also can be decorated. So it's up to you to define which appearance you want to have on your widget. Polygon configuration is already disclosed in a separate video, so you may find it on our YouTube channel. Next feature – Show Points. Let's see how it works. Show points means that we display each device reading on our pass. Also, you can change point color. And point size in pixels. For users convenient, anchors are used. By pressing particular button, our marker is moved to the next anchor. Point as an anchor function means that widget will use data points that match certain conditions as an anchors. In this field you can upload your custom marker. Let's add a bus. The very last options are all about the markers, so you may customize your markers as well to visualize some beautiful vehicle on the road. Our widget is ready. Thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.